Number 15. Walmart Lockdown Here's a rather scary scenario. A madman that's armed roaming a Walmart. This is what some shoppers were unfortunate enough to come across. One man caught the lockdown that then ensued on video as the psycho continued to rampage around the store. If you're wondering what a lockdown in Walmart looks like, it looks like this. Everyone is ordered to lie down on the floor as the videographer and his child did in the aisle. The son of the videographer tells his dad to put his phone away and stop taking pictures because he was afraid the madman would see him. At this point in the video, someone of authority is seen walking through the store, shouting that everyone is free to leave at this time. He tells them that the suspect is in custody and to leave calmly. The man who is filming the event, assumingly on his phone, followed instructions and everyone is seen leaving the Walmart calmly. The boy in the video tells his dad that was close and it was. This whole event could have ended a lot worse. Thankfully, the suspect didn't get very far. Number 14. Ghost After Hours Not every scary incident at Walmart can be explained, like this seemingly paranormal incident caught on camera for instance. As surveillance video records, what appears to be a balloon or some other elongated object comes into view, floating down the empty card aisle of the mega store. It glides off to the right where it pauses to float before moving back towards the middle of the aisle and floating lower. It then takes down the aisle at a nice clip towards the left and you see the floating object wobble back and forth for a time until it seems to take a sharp turn left and float down another aisle, completely unexplainable and spooky. The video uploader claims it's a ghost. What do you think? All I know is, I wouldn't want to run into it at Walmart late at night. Number 13. Fire Facebook was filled with videos of fire at a Walmart in Cedar Park, Texas. In November 2017, one of those Facebookers who uploaded her live video was Jackie Sinclair. In the video, she questions how the fire occurred and then says it was getting too out of hand for her to stay put. She was there on Walton Way, shopping, when the blaze shot up at the watches and jewelry section of the local Walmart. A total of three videos were posted, recording the scary flames. While sirens blared in the background, police and emergency vehicle lights were also visible in one of the videos. We received a call from an employee and when the fire department arrived, they saw light smoke coming out of the building. The city of Cedar Park's multimedia specialist, Kevin Riley, said they entered and found that two locations in the store had been put on fire, although everyone was fine. The store-wide evacuation must have been frightening. The store was closed to evaluate damage and investigate what or who started the fire. Number 12. Vigilante Justice this Walmart shopper took it upon herself to stop this group who had taken things without paying. CCTV footage caught her act on video. After spotting them taking off with the taken goods, she sprung onto the shoplifter's car and tried to break through their windshield. Not many shoppers would do the same, but this woman said she was so disgusted by the wannabe shoplifter's entitlement that she decided to serve them some good old vigilante justice. The 125-pound, 5-foot single mother saw the kids leave with a number of cases without paying. She followed the kids out into the parking lot and flung herself onto the hood of the Camaro, pounding on the windshield with her feet. But this didn't stop them, and they took off. But thanks to her taking action, the surveillance video was able to catch the driver's license plate number and police were able to catch the suspect soon after. Number 11. The Clown The Noonan police found this entry sinister when they got reports that a man dressed up as a clown was lurking in the Walmart parking lot. One Walmart shopper called the police after midnight, crying, because the clown had scared her so much. Police came to collect Rodney Allen Byram, who said he was only dressed that way because it was almost Halloween and people were enjoying taking their pick with him. I don't know who in their right mind would want a selfie with a clown in a Walmart parking lot after midnight. Byram had a checkerboard suit on and face paint. Although the suspect claimed he was only dressed that way in good fun, witnesses told a different story. 
They said he had been chasing Walmart shoppers all over the parking lot, scaring the bejesus out of them, horrifying them in the process. He was so scary to some that one woman even refused to leave her car. As the masked man approached her car window, after all, who knows what he may have wanted. The man was taken into custody and charged with disorderly conduct. As he sat in the police car, he argued, it's not illegal to scare people. Number 10. Machete Man Here's one man you don't want to meet in your local Walmart, a man with a machete. That's who Walmart customers ran into. In the Rexburg Walmart around 2.30 in the afternoon one Wednesday, when a 20-something-year-old man went more than a little crazy. And as we all know, crazy and machete don't mix, at least not well. The man was dropped off at the Walmart by bus around noon. He found a hammer and machete in the store and then headed over to the sporting goods section to wave them around and ramble while screaming. Although everyone was alright, the sight of the man and what he was carrying was scary enough to call the authorities in to take care of him. When police arrived, they cleared out the Walmart and asked the man questions, all of which he refused to answer. Police Captain Randy Lewis said of the incident, he was standing in the aisle and acting strange and talking to the shelves. It was gibberish talk. They spent over two hours trying to negotiate with the man. The man was talking to himself, saying stuff that didn't mean anything or make any sense whatsoever. They told him to put his things down and said they didn't want any harm to befall him. Eventually, the man surrendered peacefully and they escorted him out of the store without any harm done. Number 9. Elizabeth's Last Whereabouts Last spring, a nationwide manhunt was underway for Elizabeth Thomas, taken by her high school teacher, 50-year-old Tad Cummings. The pair vanished from their hometown in Tennessee, and messages between the teacher and the student revealed a relationship. As weeks passed, police were looking for any surveillance video or hot tips about Thomas' whereabouts. The former came out of Walmart in Oklahoma when Thomas and Cummings were caught on security video stocking up on food on March 15th, just two days after they vanished. The video served as the first images released by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. In the video, Cummings appeared to have darkened his hair, while Thomas's once blonde locks were dyed red. Although it started to seem highly unlikely that police would find the pair, they were discovered 38 days after their vanishing on April 20th in a remote cabin in a forest near Cecilville, California. Thomas was safely returned to her family, and Cummings was charged for his actions. Number 8. Haunted Shopping Cart in this video, a young woman says she and her boyfriend were leaving Walmart when they heard a strange sound and decided to investigate. That's when something incredibly creepy occurred, seemingly oblivious to the shopping cart moving behind her. Of its own accord, the woman speaks to the camera, saying that the noise they'd heard sounded like a scream from an older gentleman. Her boyfriend then calls attention to the shopping cart, moving remotely over her shoulder. The cart turns in a circle and then slams into the red curb off to the left. Instead of checking it out himself, the boyfriend encourages his girlfriend to go take a look at this seemingly haunted shopping cart. According to the video posted, the pair left, but the boyfriend wanted to go back and see if the shopping cart had been tampered with in some way. So they returned, and the cart had moved again from its last known location. The boyfriend then tells the girlfriend to pull the cart out of the dark. He says it seems like a totally ordinary cart. Just when you think it's a totally ordinary cart, something extraordinary happens. It takes off at a faster clip, right back towards the same spot against the curb. Whether this video is a hoax or not, we've all seen shopping carts do some creepy maneuvers all on their own. Maybe it's some apparition trying to get their attention. Number 7. Fireworks While well, fireworks can set off the spark to a fun-filled celebration, you certainly don't want to come across them live inside a Walmart. But that's what happened in Phoenix, Arizona when some people decided to set off a fireworks display. Walmart shoppers were scrambling for cover as the sounds began cracking off. Not knowing that fireworks were the cause, many shoppers probably thought that someone was loose and armed. 
One courageous employee is seen in the video racing over to pull the product off the flaming shelves, which stops setting off more fireworks that would have set off an even larger firestorm. The store sprinkler system was soon activated and helped maintain the fire until emergency services arrived to put it out. Two of the three suspects were identifiable on camera, the third being a woman whose features were difficult to distinguish via surveillance images. One of the suspects, 20-year-old Tristan Damani Bailey, was arrested and booked after being identified by local community members. Several million dollars worth of fire and water damage was done, and the suspect could face harsh penalties. Luckily for him, everyone was alright. Number 6. The Great Escape there's nothing scarier than seeing some lunatic in action, but this great escape in a mobile Alabama Walmart was thrilling and dramatic enough to be exciting more than frightening. As Walmart shopper Brennan Lynn caught it all on camera, as he describes it, we were just headed to Walmart just to get some lunch, and we walked in, and we see a gentleman struggling with one of the employees. So the first thing was, do we need to help him? And we figured we didn't need to do that. And secondly, automatically the second thing was to grab my phone and videotape it. And videotape it he did. Store employees managed to capture the shoplifting suspect, who allegedly tried to take some shoes and take him back into the store. But then the suspect did something unthinkable. He was in the security room when he somehow managed to climb up through the ceiling. He then, presumably, walked away before trying to bust a hole through the ceiling of the exit entryway with his foot, and it seems he did escape. After suspending for a moment from the ceiling tiles, he dropped, ran, hopped into a red car, and left the premises. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen, Lynn said on film. Number 5. Milkman what happens when a cow enters a Walmart? He takes all his milk back, apparently. That's what happened at a Walmart in Virginia in 2011. So let's get one thing clear first. The cow in question wasn't an actual cow. Rather, it was a man in a cow suit. The 18-year-old cow man entered the Walmart on a Tuesday night and managed to get away with 26 gallons of milk. By 10.35 p.m. that night, crawling out as he left the store, he was really putting in the legwork to look like a cow. What did he need with all this milk? Well, surprisingly, he wasn't using it for his own selfish calcium gain. According to witnesses, he started handing out the free milk to Walmart shoppers right outside the store, after which he escaped to a local McDonald's. Police still don't understand how the man got all those gallons out of the store without anyone confronting him, or why. Most likely a practical joke gone too far, however, he didn't get away with it. The cowman's costume was discovered in his car, and the cow mask didn't cover the entirety of the man's face, so he was identifiable. Number 4. The Parking Lot Incident In an incident at a Walmart in Houston, one man grew so upset about losing a parking spot that he took things pretty far. The event occurred in June 2016, when the male driver in question had been waiting for a parking spot. But before he could pull in, a female driver snuck into his space. The incident was caught on video by Wanda Sandoval and posted on YouTube. Wanda had promised the driver of a white car the spot she was parked in, but as she pulled out, the driver of a gray truck didn't seem to understand parking etiquette, or at least didn't care about it one bit, as she pulled into the spot before the other driver could. Then, a man, who we can assume was the other driver, approached the gray truck with a bat. The man reaches into the woman's window and grabs her phone, proceeding to smash it against the pavement. He then re-enters his vehicle and drives off. The moral of the story is, it's only right that people honor parking etiquette. If you don't, in this day and age, you may be putting your life at risk. You never know what kind of person you may have taken that spot from. Number 3. Black Friday Madness if you ever want to see chaos personified, simply venture into Maltree Walmart on Black Friday, where the crowds are so uncontrollable, you might think twice about celebrating. The frightening insanity of Black Friday was caught on video as mobs of people fought over the same product, screams and panic, pushing and shoving. 
The Walmart in the video looks more like a mosh pit at a concert than it does Black Friday Christmas shopping. It doesn't help that Black Friday deals are crazy good, but when the cops have to step in and tell everyone that the sale is over, then it's probably gone too far. It's time to pack up and go home. According to one shopper, the mob was so chaotic that people lost their shoes and had their hair pulled all over some top deal. One shopper said she felt smothered because people were practically on top of you as you tried to push your shopping cart around. The pressure of the crowd, there were so many people there, the air was so thick, it was so angry, everybody was rushing and grabbing, said one shopper named Sarah Buche. Another shopper, Nicole Sifford said, It is scary because you can't tell what people will do in a mob mentality like that. Number 2. Halloween Ablaze at a Walmart in San Ladrino, one man apparently disliked Halloween to the extreme as he sprayed the Halloween display with lighter fluid and tossed a match, sending the place into flames. The store was quickly cleared out as smoke filled the area and the suspect was caught in short time. Investigators interrogated the suspect to come to some conclusion as to why he decided to do this at this specific Walmart. According to reports, the 40-year-old Oakland man pushed a cart around the Walmart earlier that morning with a bottle leaking charcoal lighter fluid taken from the garden center all over the aisles. After several hours, he lit it up. My biggest concern at the time was to make sure that all the families were out, said Walmart shopper Paul Miller, who filmed the event. He said kids were there shopping for Halloween costumes. This was a nightmare scarier than Halloween. According to one witness, everyone raced out of the Walmart as soon as they heard the word fire. San Ladrino Police Lieutenant Robert McManus said, If it weren't for the store employees inside that put this fire out right away, this could have been much more worse. A security guard and a Walmart employee were able to take down the culprit after he only had a chance to light one aisle. Regardless, many witnesses say it was scary and incredibly creepy to see the smoke and flames erupt in the store. Other witnesses said this just proves that insanity is everywhere. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YTChills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos we upload every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. An Attempted Taking it's every parent's worst nightmare. You're shopping at Walmart with your kids and slightly distracted. You look away for a moment, only to turn back and find one of your kids is gone. At a Walmart in Georgia, a seven-year-old girl was swiped in an aisle of the store by Thomas Woods. However frightening this prospect may be, little did this creep know, this little girl he was attempting to run off with wasn't about to go so quietly. We were walking around the Walmart and we felt safe. Brittany's mother later said, The pair were looking at the toys and Valentine's Day cards in the Walmart 45 miles from Atlanta. The girl's mother left her briefly in the toy aisle to go grab some strawberries. That was when a man approached Brittany a short time later. As can be seen in the surveillance video, the girl in question, Brittany, is the hero of this story. She wrestled and screamed her way out of the suspect's hands, and from the surveillance video, police managed to track down and nab the suspect, who was then charged for his actions. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!